my channel. I wanted to do this quick video um, to show you um, about this game. I think this is a great um, game to teach um, like United States geography, um, the states, the actual like states, the names, the um, the capitals of each state, where the states are located, the area. So I'm going to show you, I guess I'm going to do a little bit of a review to show you kind of how this game works. And um, I just let you know, I did uh, purchase this from Amazon and I will have a link below in the description box so you can look on it to see, um, to see where, uh, or to, I mean, if you want to order it or look at it. Um, I'll have that link below. Um, let's see. And this game is called, um, let's see. I'll just turn on the side because that sticker's over it. The Scrambled States of America game. The whimsical, mad dashing geography game. So, when you open it up, let's see, this is what it looks like. And we played it a few times, but, um, when you open it up, it's got, let's see, one... One, two, I think it's four. Let's see. Let me switch hands. Um, it's got four of these maps. This is what the maps show. It just looks like a hand-drawn um, United States map with the the state names, and then it's got the um, the ocean, uh, the the countries that are above it and then the ocean over here and we've got four of these and then it also comes with the um, instruction booklet and then it comes with let's see I guess it's got some information about the states just a little thing like that <clears throat> just like a little story things like that so this is uh what else? it comes with this and then it's got all right it's got the red cards which it's the um it's the the which you um have to find so it says state that ends in an a so you find uh if you have that that card in your hand then you put it down and this is what the um this is what the uh, the state cards look like um and it also has the capital it has the nickname and you kind of see what the state looks like so <clears throat> i'll just show you hold on let's see this is give each player U.S. map for reference. Separate rate the cards, the blue, the states, and the red are the scrambled decks. And then shuffle and put both decks face down in the center. <clears throat> Deal five state cards to each player. Place your cards face up in a row in front of you to form your state line. Take some time to, come, to become familiar with your cards referring to the map to find your to find each state's location. Also notice that each card has a state name, state picture, capital, and nickname. And then it says, and it says, let's play. When all players are ready, the player to the left of the dealer turns over the top of the scrambled deck, which is the, the red card. This right here. <clears throat> Let's see. You would have, all right. Top of the scrambled deck places the, places it up face up next to the deck and reads it aloud. There are two types of cards in the scramble deck. Find it and go the distance. Find it cards have various challenges on them relating to the states. Uh, they could be as simple as matching colors or com as complex as finding hidden words. When a find it card is revealed, all players race to match one of their state cards to this card. Whoever's the first place to slap and announce the name of the matching state out loud gets to collect the card. The winner puts the state card in a home pile off to the side of the off to the side. Each player has their own home pile. 
draws a new card from the top of the state deck to build their state line back up to five cards. So they all, so each player has five cards. And then, um, uh, whenever you, um, do this, whenever you, uh, do the, this right here, uh, and you, um, say you get the card, and I, I was going to say Iowa is this one. So if you have the card Iowa, and you pick it up and it matches this, you take your, your, your state card and put it over in your home pile, and then you get to draw, um, you get to draw another state card. Um, <clears throat> and then it goes into saying if more than one player has a match, if no player has a match, I'm sure you can read this if, uh, whatever. I just wanted to give you an idea. And then to win, um, it says when the state, when the state deck is depleted, all players count the states in their home pile. Whoever has the most state cards wins. Cards left in the state line don't count. So the cards that you put in front of you, the five cards that put in front of you, whenever the, the state pile is gone, you don't count those. You only count the cards in the home pile. So um, it's it's a simple little game. It does help teach, you know, state names, you know, the nicknames, things like that. It's pretty easy to learn. Um, it's been just me, me and Caden that plays. So I don't take it easy because, or I, I don't take it I kind of take it easy with him so that way, um, not that he can win, but I want him to have the confidence, um, to learn it. So I kind of, I don't, I don't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't go hard on him. I don't compete with him over, over it. Just, I do it wherever he can. If he has it, I help him figure it out, things like that. So, I mean, it's, there's the, there's the, the oh and it also has a I didn't I didn't realize it it has ruler cards to measure the dis distance because it will ask you I think that's the distance cards but but there's the state cards you just gonna see the ideas or not state cards but the the uh, challenge cards and then there's the state cards so anyway I think it's a fun, fun little game to help teach geography. Um, like I said, I'll post, um, I'll put the, the, um, the link below to this game in the description box so you can check it out. Um, so, uh, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so that way you can get more videos from me because I want to do, I'm going to keep doing, um, I just got several, several games up there. Also, I'm going to do some, um, curriculum reviews on what we have chosen and kind of go further into each piece of our curriculum to to kind of give you an idea of why I chose it and and maybe give you an idea if you're if you're looking for something. So anyway, um like I said, give this a thumbs up and thanks for watching.